I wonder what everyone else is doing in their house. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday around like 4 p.m. So this is the first day of Hurricane Ian, for us anyway. Um, South Florida was getting rain yesterday. And it's just now making landfall um, on the Gulf Coast. So it's just kind of sprinkling here. You can probably hear the um, wind. It's starting to pick up, but nothing crazy yet. And I just figured I would vlog. <laughs> Um, not really sure what we're gonna be doing. Will is working from home. Um, he has been today and then tomorrow. So we're just gonna be laying low at home, watching the storm essentially. That's really all you can do at this point. <laughs> Still not much is happening. A little bit more wind, but not much rain. <laughs> I gotta be in the house with these kooks for, for two or three days. <laughs> oh, ooh, you hear the wind? Let's get in, starting to drizzle again. Will's in here watching some anime thing, getting into snacks already. And I'm out here with William, getting into some wine, so. We don't waste any time, do we? Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would The wind is definitely picking up and our internet's being spotty. Even getting breezy back here in the porch. Little Bonnie's still out here, so it can't be too bad yet. But we're probably just going to crank the AC down just in case the power goes out. The house can stay cool and go to bed after a little storm watching. We'll watch it for a little bit longer. Sir William is asleep. Yellow. That means sustained winds of about 58 miles per hour. So what is it? What is that? All right, guys. It is currently 5:36. Brewing coffee, guys. <laughs> the storm woke us all up, including little William. It's just picked up. You guys probably can't see much. I look crazy right now, but. All night long, we were just kind of dozing for an hour or so, waking up, checking the radar, um, running outside, and looking at the weather. It was consistently windy, kind of raining on and off, but it wasn't too crazy until a little bit ago. So definitely picking up. The hurricane is going more across the state and not up through us. So we really thought that the eye was gonna come right over us. The eye is the center, if you're not familiar. But now it looks like that's not gonna happen, but we're still getting all of the bad um, bands right now. The lights are flickering. This is exactly why we decided to get out of bed and make coffee, because <laughs> this might be our last chance. Yeah, plus you were up, William. Say plus you were up. I think we're gonna go on the back porch and watch the wind for just a little bit. If it gets too crazy, of course, we'll come inside, but, um, our back porch is kind of nestled in and we feel pretty safe there, huh? Unless it gets too nuts. Woo, chilly! We 
turn on Mr. Thomas? Should we turn on Mr. Thomas? Is that a giraffe? We've decided to make some eggs because the power has really been flickering. Well, power is out. the worst, huh? It's been. So my crazy husband decided to go out in it. And of course there's been crazy gusts. <laughs> He's waving. The fence behind him is literally just shaking behind him and he had no idea. He had no idea. I wish I would've caught it on film. Here he comes. Oh Lord. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> It's nice out there. Does it still work? Yeah. He just left his phone out it in dropped, the rain. It dropped. <laughs> it dropped on his way in. Oh, you got footage out there? Yeah. Ooh. It's a little windy, not too bad. We're getting some good gusts, but then it calms down again. I'm just standing over here against the fence because it's blowing in from the north, mostly. So. This kind of blocks the wind for me. And then the umbrella kind of just does the rest of the job. Elena and Will are in there. He's taking a good old nap at 8 in the morning. <laughs> That's what happens when you get up at 5. We lost power about 30 minutes ago. And uh, we've just been hanging out ever since. I cranked the house down to about 67. Elena was telling me all night how cold she was but now I guess it'll work out and hopefully it stays cool through the day with the clouds and the rain we're just here playing in the in the dark aren't we William is most concerned that his Thomas light does not light up anymore Hope you can hear me. I know I'm still looking a little crazy, but not gonna get cute for Hurricane. We're gonna try and make pizza on the grill. We're gonna put our pizza stone in there. Just check, it does fit. But all of my pizza crust recipes are bookmarked. I have all my bread recipes either memorized or written down, but not my pizza crust. So I just texted my mom because our internet is not working, but some texts go through. She's gonna send us a recipe. Hopefully it comes through and we're gonna make pizza on the grill and have a hurricane party. Just kidding, we already are. Where's my warm water? I'm bringing it, psycho. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's, that's way more than a cup. I need exactly a cup, please, sir. Please, sir, sir, kindly. Okay, we're gonna make our pizza crust. We are DIYing the lighting. Hi. Ah. Uh, and 
we're still in our sleeper. What time is it? It's like, it's not even 10 a.m. I don't think, and we're making pizza. But you know, we've been up forever, so this is what we do. We've been up for five hours, William. Well, you took a 30 minute nap, but. This is one cup. Dad is getting exactly one cup for us. Dump it? No. Actually, oh, I need a spoon, please. I'm sorry, Dad, I'm sorry. Bossing him around. Okay, ready? You have your yeast. Okay, thank you. Okay, ready, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, can you get the sugar? <laughs> I forgot everything. Want a drink too? <laughs> sure. I'm sorry. And a couple paper towels. I definitely need the sugar like ASAP. <laughs> this is what happens when I only have half of a recipe, by the way. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Uh, sugar is in the pantry. It says sugar. Yeah. What is it in like a paper bag? Yeah. I don't see it. It says sugar. It's either like a small blue and white bag or there's a big old bag of sugar. Like huge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. How much more? I need, oh shoot, um, like this much. <laughs> okay, give me the spoon. Hold on. Like I said, we're DIYing it, guys. We only have half the recipe. So I'm hoping this will work. Only half of the recipe would download. And I don't want to wait any more time. We've already waited like 30 minutes of waiting. Okay, so that's going to sit, William. You ready? I love doing this. We normally do this with an electric stand mixer, so we might have to mix it for quite a long time. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's sitting there. We need... Oh, Dad. <laughs> Can you get us the... <laughs> what? Yeah. 10.15. Good helper. Wow. I'm sorry for a nap after all. I wonder what everyone else is doing in their house. Yeah, we're kind of crazy for making pizza. I'm gonna add some um, Italian seasoning because we're fancy. Okay? Okay. So. Things have definitely died down, but it's still pretty breezy out. Only really drizzling. Um, but the bulk of the storm is behind us now. Um, it stinks not having power and AC and everything, but you know, we'll survive. Hopefully it'll only be a day or two. Um, but Will is actually gonna hop over to his parents' house to get a generator so we can just have our fridge plugged in so we don't lose any food. And I honestly care more about my breast milk stash than anything. So he's gonna run over there and do that. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna lay low today, probably walk the neighborhood and walk around our house to see if there's any damage. I don't think we have much, just like some little limbs, nothing crazy at all. Um, thankfully. So, yeah. Also, the pizza was yummy, but we burnt the bottom because we're not used to making it on the grill, obviously. We didn't have an internet to look into how to do it, you know, the correct way. Oh, and you know what's really funny? This, like all of our tall trees and stuff we put over here since it didn't fit under this roof. And this big plumeria tree is right in front of our master <laughs> bathroom window. So every time we walk by, we're like, uh, who the heck is outside? It's honestly really creepy. Just the shadow <laughs> blowing in the wind. Now we are in Will's work truck, hanging out and just <laughs> charging our phones. <laughs> William's having a blast. Yeah, this is a good spot. Having fun, William? <laughs> Say beep, 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 beep. Just boop, ooh. Look at how cute this kid looks. This is his only winter outfit. And with the drizzle and the wind, it's actually pretty chilly out there. I'm so excited to go on this walk because we're just not used to being stuck inside. <laughs> Hasn't even been that long. But do you guys remember this jacket when we went to our trip in uh, North Carolina? 
Those vlogs are old. <laughs> you ready, William? Oh, put that tootsie away. Yeah. It should be all nice and warm in there. <laughs> and we have his little rain guard thing so I can pull that down if it like starts to rain. And then he can see out, which I can also close that too. But we're gonna leave all this up. Oh wait, actually, let's leave it. Let's leave it like that. You like that? Oh God. Yep, he's all rain geared up. We haven't really seen much. We haven't seen much damage, just some limbs, but nothing crazy. Definitely lots of standing water. Curious to see how this lake up here is looking that we go to all the time. Probably super full. Oh, I kind of see a tree down or something. I don't know, I'll show you guys what you find. If it's anything interesting, <gasps> there are my boys. So like I said, our neighborhood is really lucky, just a couple limbs and trees and standing water, but nothing crazy. Even our lake, um, it definitely is flooded, but only about six or eight feet into this park area, nothing into homes or anything. So we were overall really, really lucky. <gasps> Later on, we packed up a sleeping William and all of the water that we could spare because Will's parents had power, but their water was actually shut off. So we headed over there to exchange the water for a generator. <laughs> we did a little slip swap and we saw tons of standing water, way worse than our neighborhood was um, pretty much the entire way. And then we ran into a couple roadblocks, <laughs> probably four or five different trees. And his parents' house is not very far away. So there's definitely a a lot of cleanup to be had and then this is his parents neighborhood oh my gosh there are a couple homes and businesses that are just I mean water up to the windows I feel so bad for these people I hope they had flood insurance oh my goodness this is crazy this lake is nowhere near that but the next day I just showed a little clip of our backyard you saw the generator there and we are so lucky, so, so lucky, guys. Just some moss and little baby limbs down. Nothing crazy at all. So I am so, just so thankful. Um, no damage to our fence, screen, nothing at all other than what you are seeing here. We had way over five inches of rain. Our little rain gauge was completely full and we know we got more than five inches because it was draining out that little hole. Um, I wish I had checked it mid-storm, but we just didn't think about it. But I hope you guys have a great one and y'all stayed safe during the storm. I'll see you all in the next one. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feel it.